loop line here. In this video, I'm going to cover just the May 2020 server update. If you've been getting this error, unable to download file update information, or unable to submit license activation, or when you're trying to submit for an activation, it gives you an error saying it can't submit of some sort, then the file update information error and this one is because Scrapebox has updated their licensing servers to add more capacity to allow for future updates of Scrapebox and for Scrapebox to keep going, which is all good things. But in this case, you may have to do a manual one-time update. So normally you would just click update in Scrapebox and it would download everything and update automatically. This would be a manual update, so you have to manually download it and do an update. It's a one-time thing, first time it's ever happened in 10 years. And so this is how you do it. It's really basic. Um, you're going to go to this address, scrapebox.com forward slash payment received. If you don't know what it is, it's really easy because it will fill in the rest for you. You can just use scrapebox.com forward slash pay and hit enter and the website will direct you to the page that you need to be. And so there's um, Windows 32 and 64 bit versions and then there's Mac, which is a 64 bit version. So for Windows, if you need to do 32-bit, then of course you would choose 32-bit. I do 64-bit, and we're on Windows at the moment. We'll talk about Mac in a moment. And for Windows 64-bit, all you're going to do is click on it and download it, and I'm going to save it. It's just a zip file. I'm just going to save it here, and I happen to already have downloaded it, but I'm going to overwrite it. And so I'm going to go here, and I'm going to open it up. Now you can extract it and unzip it. You could use your favorite unzipping utility or whatever, and this might look a little different depending on your version of Windows. But all I'm going to do is just copy this, and I'm going to go to my Scrapebox folder, which you'll see all this normal stuff here, and I'm just going to paste it. And so it's going to ask me if I want to overwrite it. I'm going to choose yes. Of course, do this with Scrapebox shut down. My Scrapebox is shut down right now. Um, if you try to do it with it open, it won't work. So once Scrapebox is shut down, go ahead, and I'm just going to relaunch it. You can launch it from your shortcut on your desktop or whatever. Um, I'm just going to click this. And so this will be version 2.1.0. something. Right, so as long as you're at that version, then you should be working and everything will be great. And so it loads up and we can see 2.1.0.0 at the moment, but that will obviously go up over time. You can tell it's the latest version because this will be text will be in green right here. If this text is in red, you don't have the latest version. If this text has no numbers right here and only periods, it can't connect to the licensing server. And if you have a red text down here, again, it can't connect to the licensing server most likely um, or something went wrong. And so you can go to help, test server connection, and then you should see all green lights like this. If you're not using this 2.1, then you're going to see some red lights for server 1. But as long as you're using 2.1.0. something on Windows, then this should be all green lights. If it's not all green lights and you have any red lights in here, then that means something is blocking Scrapebox from accessing the licensing servers. Typically, this is security software, so just go into your security software and add an exception for the entire Scrapebox folder. So just add this whole folder in there, and then it should be working. Um, restart Scrapebox, and you you know you want to see the green lights. You can also, if you don't want to overwrite your current copy, you could extract this to a whole new folder. Um, but just make sure that in any case, wherever Scrapebox is on Windows, that it's a folder on your desktop or a folder in your documents folder. You don't want to stick it right on the C drive or something like that because that will cause issues uh, with Windows and that sort of thing. And so that's all it is. It's just a manual update. You're just downloading the EXE and overriding the old one and you're done. And then Scrapebox will be working and set up for all the great features that they want to add down the track. As far as Mac goes, it's pretty straightforward. You're going to go on your Mac. You're going to shut down Scrapebox. You're going to uninstall Scrapebox just in your applications and then you're going to download this new version here and then you're just going to click on the downloads folder and launch that new download that you download and install it just like normal so pretty straightforward however i will mention for mac it's version 2.1.0 so on windows it's um, a little different the versioning is slightly different windows is 2.1.0.0 and mac is 2.1.0 um, or greater. This last one obviously could be greater. So if you're using anything before the, this one right here, if it's 2.0, then that's not right. And I say that because sometimes on Mac, I've heard users say that um, when they download the new version from here, it doesn't overwrite the old one in their downloads folder, or it'll rename something and they click on the wrong one. So you may need to go in your downloads folder and delete um, all the copies of Scrapebox that are in there and then download this one and then install it to make sure you get the right version. At the end of the day, for Mac, this is your version that you're looking for. Um, technically, I guess I should put an X here because it should be 
at least dot zero or greater that you're looking for and if it's not then for some reason it didn't work so just do a manual update really straightforward and simple that'll solve your download file update information or submitting license activations and going forward from May 2020 you're gonna to have to have at least these versions to activate on any new computer anywhere if you have a version that's older than this it will not activate so you gotta download at least the latest version and update yourself manually or submit for activation and that is how you do a one-time manual update for May of 2020 Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.